Todd Morton Mills was established in the valley of the Don River. It was very lushly forested, and there were many, many animals. The river itself was a significant source of food and of water power for the early settlers, as it was for the Mississauga Indians, who were still here into the 1830s. We know that Simcoe was anxious to develop a, a lumber mill here, and so he was able to provide land for the Skinners, who had a history in um, sawmills, to build the first sawmill here in the 1790s. The area wasn't known as Todd Morden at that time. It was known as the Dawn Mills, once the mills were established. And within a year of their opening of the sawmill, the Skinners were provided with a set of millstones so that they could also create or, or build a grist mill. Open. Simcoe decided to put down roots. He set up a fort, called the settlement York, and made it his capital. He chose the site because it was opposite the western entrance to the harbour at York, and therefore was strategically placed to uh, protect the harbour. John Grave Simcoe um, pitched his tent with his wife Elizabeth on the east side of the creek on elevated ground, but he constructed huts for the soldiers um, on the present site of Fort York here on the west side of the Garrison Creek. In Simcoe's time, we didn't have the Toronto Islands. We had a peninsula, and the town was well placed inside of the harbour area, and in order to make your way into the town, you had to pass in front of the fort and the fort's guns. The first 10 blocks of the town of York were laid out and plans begun for the construction of the first parliament buildings. A head lay war with the Americans and a constant battle with the elements to tame the wilderness and establish a lasting community. The two founding sort of institutions of the city still exist, are still the, the founding of the military protection of the harbour and, and the thing that they were protecting, which was the, the capital as symbolised by the parliament buildings themselves. Those original parliament buildings didn't survive the War of 1812. The Americans burned them down. But archaeologists have made some interesting discoveries. We did find uh, a stone foundation of what we believe to be probably the South Parliament building. And we found a portion of a floor with tiles and a drain feature, and we found charred floor joists, and we found charred brick, and uh, so we certainly knew that this had been a fire and that this floor had burned. Um, because the artifacts were so early, we knew also that it was the early fire and not the 1824 fire that destroyed the second Parliament buildings. The site was covered in to protect the artifacts, and a report written on the dig encouraging the government to acquire the property. Other countries around the world had uh, quite substantial commemorations to their first parliament buildings, beautiful parks, beautiful buildings, whereas here we had this car wash sitting on our first parliament buildings. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.